Hello, my name's Lisa. I've been working with clay for close to 20 years. My first experience with ceramics was in the pottery village of Vume in Ghana, West Africa. <laughs> Vume changed my life. After about a month there, I knew I was a potter. I took the photographs you're looking at to document some of the techniques I learned there. These methods form the core of my own practice. Thick, coarse, wet coils that are pulled, scraped, paddled and rubbed into beautiful round pots of various sizes, mostly used to hold water. One of the things I love about the way pots are made in Vume is that you use your whole body to form a curve. In other parts of Africa, this technique has been used to build houses. I get such a joy from working at this scale and using my body to form a curve. These are images of some older pots which show the influence from some of the places I've studied. In contrast to the handling methods in Vume are the techniques I learned from Gwen Hansen Pickett in Australia. Gwen creates impossibly thin, translucent porcelain pieces. Bold, quiet forms that stun me. Porcelain is a completely different animal. Over the last four years, I've been working to combine the freedom of scale and movement of Vume's hand-building technique with a translucency and memory of porcelain. The lines and marks in these pots reflect the traces of my hand-building process. Experimenting with the texture of memory led to making hundreds of translucent porcelain tiles. Simultaneously, the size of the pots that I'm presently making has also grown three times in size. In the material of porcelain, I've finally found my stride. Thank you for considering my work. Goodbye.